last donut. What? No, I did not. We're ta we're not taking it to Pirate Island. I already told you that. Stop yelling at me. I'm holding a baby. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. Well, well, you know what? Well, you uh, <laughs> You're a Cheerio, and not even the good kind, like the off-brand kind. Yeah, that's right. Oh, um, hey guys. My brother just said I ate the last donut this morning, and it wasn't me. He was saying some really mean things, too, and, um, I, uh, oh man. I should not have called him names. Now I feel awful. I better call him back. Um, while I do that, you guys get up on your feet and worship. Come on, Charles. Second Peter 1-3. fun. I am so sorry you had to see that earlier. That was no way for me to behave. I got really upset and said some words I should not have said. Now I can't get a hold of my brother and I know I probably hurt his feelings. But you know he hurt my feelings too. Yeah, he hurt my feelings with the unkind words he was using. So you know what? He needs to apologize to me too. Right? Wait, is that right? I don't know. Oh, what should I do? What would you guys do? You guys are right. I should probably apologize. I should talk to him in person and apologize. Give him a big hug. 
I wonder what the Bible says about using wise words. Uh, let's look. Proverbs 15, 1. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but harsh words stir up anger. Hmm. What's another one? Let's see. Um, oh, Proverbs 16, 24. Kind words are like honey sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. Oh man, did you hear that? Kind words are the way to go. I've got to get a hold of my brother. My mom showed me this cool object lesson to help us. Let's check it out. So, in this bag, I have some toothpaste and a paper plate. <laughs> oh, it's minty fresh. <laughs> hmm, say, I wonder why we brush our teeth. How often do you guys brush your teeth? Do you have to be reminded to brush your teeth? <laughs> Me too. Oh, well anyway, uh, for today's experiment, I have my friend Kyle. Alrighty, now Kyle, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to squeeze all of that toothpaste onto this plate. Okay. Keep going. Remember to use all of your strength. Dang, you're really strong. Make sure to get it all out. Yes, that's okay. right. Now, going. Now, Almost done. for the real challenge. Are you ready for the real challenge? You have to say you're ready. Okay. Now, Kyle, for the real challenge. You are going to take all of this toothpaste, put it back in the container, Okay. Three, two, one, go! Do it now! I'm already doing it. Oh, okay. Right. Then take your time. Okay. Now what? Spoon. Spoon. Come on, Kyle, try harder! I am. You have to believe that you can do it. Nice. Yeah, you're right. The spoon was a bad idea. Yeah, use that. Mm -hmm. Come on, Kyle, you can do it! I am! Do it, Kyle! Okay. One, three! Toothpick. Yeah, you're right. The, 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 <laughs> that wasn't a good idea. Here's the toothpick. In fact, here's seven. Come on, Kyle, you can do this. Let's go, Kyle! Let's go! Let's go, Kyle. Let's go cheer for him, everybody. Let's go, Kyle. Let's go. Okay, my ball. Toothbrush. Toothbrush? But that's the secret weapon. If you can't get it with this. Okay. I bail from it. Kyle, you're giving up? It won't work. No, you are our last hope. No! As you guys could all see, we could not defy the laws of physics, or toothpaste, or toothbrushes, or toothpicks, or whatever else he used. But it does show us a great lesson. Just like with our words, after we say something, we can't really put it back in our mouths. I mean, that'd be weird. I mean, like I could say avocado and I can't grab the word and put it back in my mouth. I just can't. Just like how we can't put toothpaste back in the tube. My beautiful toothpaste. What have you become? <laughs> this is such a great object lesson. I just wish I remembered it before I said those things to my brother. Looks like I had to learn that the hard way today. Unfortunately, I can't take back the mean words I said, but I can apologize and try my hardest to make it better choices in the future. Hmm. Next time, I will be wise and choose my words carefully. Oh! <laughs> I just said the big idea! I said I can be wise by choosing my words carefully. 
Come on, say it with me. Come on, you can do it. I can be wise by choosing my words carefully. Great job, everyone. This month's memory verse not only talks about our actions, but our words. We can make choices to use wise words. Let's practice. Our verse is found in Ephesians 5.15. It reads, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Great! Now let's practice the motions. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Ephesians 5.15. Wow, you guys are getting it. <laughs> you guys are doing so good. I can tell you've been practicing. You have been practicing, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course you've been practicing. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for helping us to choose our words carefully and for always being there for us to make sure that we don't accidentally make a mistake. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This week's challenge is to take a tube of toothpaste and do this challenge with a parent. Remember with a parent, okay? We don't want you doing this by yourself in the bathroom making a huge mess and then getting bad emails. We wouldn't want that. Um, but you can squeeze it out on a paper plate, ask a parent to put it back in the tube after they try really hard and you can cheer them on. Share with them what you learned about the power of your words. I can't wait to hear how it goes. As for me, I have a phone call to make. Friends, have a great week. Oh, okay, now to talk to my brother about the, the donut. Who ate the... Charles? You ate the donut, didn't you? I can smell it. You know what? We're both going to apologize. You have some explaining to do. <laughs>